Let's take a quick look at hanging indents. So we've got this references section here and what we want is for the second line to be indented but the first line to stay um, aligned with the document above. So I've highlighted the whole section here and I'm gonna play around with these little guys and we'll see what we can do. Now this is kind of tricky because you have to grab them in the right place. If I grab this rectangle, see it moves everything over. So if I move that to 0.5, that moves everything. Okay, I'm gonna move it back so we can play around with it a little bit more. If I grab this top one, let's see what happens. It moves just the top line but not the second line and we want the reverse of what is showing right here on the screen. So. I think the quickest way to do this is grab that little rectangle, move it over to 0.5, and then grab the top triangle and move it back. I think that's the easiest way to do it. I'm going to pause and show you one other method here, just a minute. Okay, your second option is to go up here on the home tab to the paragraph group. We're going to hit that little more button right there, and we're going to change, I'm going to slide this over so you can see what's going to happen. Um, we're going to change this special to hanging, okay? And we're going to say OK. And that also does it. Same thing that we just moved those around to do. So you've got two ways, depending on your steadiness with your mouse. You can use the mouse to slide these little guys around, or you can go to the paragraph group, the more button, and change it to hanging right there. Don't change this indentation, or it will move your, um, your whole uh, selection over rather than just the first, the second line, rather. Good luck.